the Indian Constitution key features by the beginning of the 20th century the Indian national movement had been active in the struggle for independence from British rule for several decades the long experience of authoritarian rule under the Britishers convinced Indians that free India should be a democracy in which everyone should be treated equally and be allowed to participate in government. What remained to be done then was to work out the ways in which a democratic government would be set up in India and the rules that would determine its functioning. This was done not by one person but by a group of around 300 people who became members of the Constituent Assembly in 1946 and who met periodically for the next three years to write India's constitution. Following the key features of Indian constitution, 1. Federalism. This refers to the existence of more than one level of government in the country. In India, we have governments at the state level and at the center. The constitution contains lists that detail the issues that each tier of government can make laws on. In addition, the constitution also specifies where each tier of government can get the money from for the work that it does. Parliamentary form of government Constitution of India guarantees universal adult suffrage for all citizens. This means that the people of India have a direct role in electing the representatives. Also, every citizen of the country, irrespective of his or her social background, can also contest in elections. Separation of powers. According to the constitution, there are three organs of the state. These are the legislature, the executive and the judiciary. In order to prevent the misuse of power by any one branch of the state, the constitution says that each of these organs should exercise different powers. Through this, each organ acts as a check on the other organs of the state and this ensures the balance of power between all three. Fundamental Rights Fundamental rights, therefore, protect citizens against the arbitrary and absolute exercise of power by the state. The constitution thus guarantees the rights of individuals against the state as well as against other individuals. In addition to fundamental rights, the constitution also has a section called Directive Principles of State Policy. This section was designed by the members of the Constituent Assembly to ensure greater social and economic reform and to serve as a guide to the independent Indian state to institute laws and policies that help reduce the poverty of the masses. Secularism A secular state is one in which the state does not officially promote any one religion as the state religion.